This video was created by artificial intelligence. Sentence. You must have heard it frequently lately. So, how are these videos created in just a few lines of word? Has the real world become simulatable by artificial intelligence? In this video, I'll try to explain the technical details briefly. In the early 1950s, the concept of machine learning emerged with Alan Turing's question, can machines think? Computer scientist and cognitive scientist John McCarthy first introduced the term artificial intelligence at the Dartmouth Conference, the first organized artificial intelligence conference, in 1956. Artificial intelligence, initially predominantly used in military fields, has come a long way since its inception, allowing us to speed up our work in almost every field and achieve faster and more efficient results tailored to the needs of end users. In this regard, OpenAI is one of the companies that has dedicated significant effort to research and development. With its natural and fluent language ability, ChatGPT can communicate with people in a logical manner, and after Dell E, which generates images from your inputs, now comes Sora with the ability to create logical videos frame by frame. It must be a different feeling to see your thoughts put into motion on the screen. To simulate our world with our imagination, it is important to provide it with examples from the world. Sora is the most advanced diffusion model, inspired by real videos, and trained on collaborative work on videos and images with variable durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. It has the ability to generate high-quality videos of one-minute duration. It utilizes a transformer architecture that works on space-time patches of video and image latent codes. For efficient results, the conversion of visual data into patches is of great importance. OpenAI mentions that it is inspired by large language models that have gained general abilities through training on internet-scale data. The success of the LLM paradigm is partially achieved by using tokens that elegantly combine various text methods, coding, mathematics, and various natural languages. Large language models are advanced artificial intelligence systems that understand, interpret, and generate human language using vast amounts of data and sophisticated algorithms. The term, large, refers to both the extensive training data and the significant dimensions of models, often containing millions or even billions of parameters. While LLMs have text tokens, Sora has visual patches. First, videos are compressed into a lower dimensional latent space and then decomposed into representational spatio-temporal patches. We can say that the patches provide a highly scalable and effective representation to train productive models across various video and image types. At the same time, a video compression network is trained to reduce the dimensionality of visual data. This network takes raw video as input and provides a compressed latent representation both temporally and spatially. Additionally, a relevant decoder model is trained along with this network to map the generated latent features back to pixel space. From a compressed input video, a series of spatio-temporal patches functioning as transformer tokens are extracted. The patch-based representation of videos allows Sora to be trained on videos and images with variable resolutions, durations, and aspect ratios. Sora is trained on this compressed latent space and then generates videos. As the training process progresses, the quality of the samples significantly improves. The sampling flexibility is sufficient for today's needs. It can sample 1920 by 1080 videos, vertical 1080 by 1920 resolution videos, and everything in between. This allows Sora to create content directly in native aspect ratios for different devices. Additionally, it enables us to quickly prototype content at lower resolutions before generating them all at full resolution with the same model. Improved framing and composition capability. Empirically, Training on native aspect ratios for videos improves composition and framing. Another model trained on square cropping sometimes creates videos where the subject is only partially visible. In contrast, Sora improves framing for incoming videos, making them more understandable. Language understanding. Training systems to generate videos from text requires a large amount of video with corresponding text captions.
The recaptioning technique introduced in DAL E3 is applied to videos. First, an extremely descriptive caption model is trained, and then it is used to create text captions for all the videos in our training set. The training of highly descriptive video captions is seen to improve the fidelity to the original text and the overall quality of the videos. Sora has the ability to create videos from an image and a prompt provided. With DAL E2 and E3, you can turn the images you create into videos. Different capabilities. Expanding the created videos. Sora also has the ability to speed up or slow down videos in time. For example, there are four videos created by reversing the time from a section of a video. As a result, each of the four videos starts differently from the others, but all four videos lead to the same end. To create a seamless infinite loop, you can use this method to both speed up and slow down a video. Video to video editing. Diffusion models have enabled a plethora of methods for editing images and videos from text prompts. Applying the SD edit, one of these methods, to Sora allows it to transform the styles and environments of input videos with zero shot editing. Connecting videos. Sora can also be used to interpolate gradually between two input videos, creating smooth transitions between videos with entirely different subjects and scene compositions. Regarding 3D consistency, Sora can create videos with dynamic camera movements. As the camera shifts and rotates, people and scene elements move consistently in three-dimensional space. Long-range consistency and object persistence. An important challenge for video generation systems is maintaining temporal consistency when modeling long videos. We see that Sora can effectively model both short and long-term dependencies, although not always. For example, it can hold on to people, animals, and objects even when they are occluded or exit the frame. Similarly, it can create multiple shots of the same character in a single instance and maintain their appearances throughout the video. At times, it can simulate actions that affect the state of the world in simple ways. For instance, a painter can leave new strokes over time on a canvas, or a person can eat a hamburger and leave bite marks. Simulating digital worlds. Sora can simulate artificial processes outside of the real world. One example is video games. It can control a player in Minecraft with a basic policy while also rendering the world and its dynamics in high quality. Currently, Sora exhibits numerous limitations as a simulator. So, it's not entirely flawless. For instance, it doesn't accurately model the physics of many basic interactions like glass breaking. Other interactions such as eating may not always provide the correct changes in object states. Artificial intelligence continues to be developed day by day. There has been significant progress between the results from a year ago and today. Looking at its useful aspects, you can edit your videos with a single sentence, bring to life a book you've read, or even create your own movie. There are many examples that can be given. However, there will inevitably be those who want to misuse it. OpenAI states that it will take serious measures in this regard. Tools are also being developed to detect deceptive content, such as a perception classifier that can recognize when a video was created by Sora. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, you can support by subscribing and liking. Thank you for watching and taking the time. Have a good day.